Hey guys, Damien here from Gizby and ChinaPhoneArena.com. What we're going to do today is root the OnePlus X. We're going to accomplish that by flashing a custom recovery twerp onto the OnePlus X through Fastboot. And then after we're done with that, we're going to go ahead and install the Super SU, the root, through that custom recovery. The prerequisite for this is that you need an unlocked bootloader and you also need to have a twerp or custom recovery made for your phone. The first thing we want to do on your phone is enable developer mode. We're going to go ahead and go into settings and then to about phone. It's usually at the bottom. Go ahead and tap that. Once you get into about phone, scroll down all the way until you see build number. Tap that multiple times until it tells you you're a developer. Once you're done with that, go ahead and hit the back button. You'll see a new setting there, developer options. Go into developer options. And then at the top, you may see an off on switch. Go ahead and turn that on and click OK. Then you're going to see OEM and locking. If you see that, enable the bootloader unlocking. Go ahead and enable that. Then you're going to go down, you'll see USB debugging. Enable that as well. Tap OK. Bam, you're all set with the prerequisite for the phone there. We're going to move on to the next step. So now that the phone is prepped, it's time to prep your PC. I've included a rare file there. That includes the ADB auto installed drivers, as well as the ADB command set and the fastboot tools. Look down in the description there. You're going to see a link to the files. Also put a link in the video here. You can go ahead and click that and get that downloaded. So once you have that downloaded and on your desktop or wherever you're going to extract it, go ahead and double click there, open it up. And then you're going to see in there, you're going to see the Super SU as well as a twerp. This is a custom recovery only for the OnePlus X. Don't use that on any other phone. You also see the ADB setup. This is your auto driver setup. Go ahead and double click that. It's going to extract. I have a Komodo installed. It's going to come up and ask me, do I want to treat this as an installer? Or what do I want to do? I'm going to treat it as an installer. Depending on your virus protection, you may have a slightly different situation there. Just give it a couple seconds. After a few seconds, you're going to see a blue command window pop up. And there it is there. Go ahead. It's going to ask you, do you want to install ADB and Fastboot? Go ahead and type yes. You're going to have, do you want to, it's system Y. Go ahead and type yes there. After that, it's going to ask you, do you want to install ADB drivers? These are the official Google drivers. Go ahead and type yes there. Go through the process. It's going to pop up. Do you want to trust Google? Yes, let's trust Google. Go ahead and install. And then go ahead and finish there. Now, when it installed the fastboot tools in the ADB command set, it installed them to your system drive slash ADB. I'm going to go ahead and extract Super SU and my custom recovery to that folder. You would do the equivalent. Just put your custom recovery in that folder. The Super SU can actually go on the base of your phone. For now, I'm just going to go ahead and extract it to there. I'll show you how I'm going to do that later. And I'm going to close that. At this point, we're going to go into the system drive slash ADB. For me, that's going to be my C drive. For most people, it should be your C drive. Go ahead and the C and then the ADB folder. And once we have that opened up, you're going to see we have the ADB command set as well as the Super SU and the Custom Recovery and the Fastboot tools. Go ahead and shift right click in a blank space and select Open Command Window here. At this point, you're going to go ahead and type ADB Kill Server and then ADB Start Server. What that's going to do is start a fresh server for us. It's going to kill any current ADB connections. Go ahead and plug your phone in via USB to your PC at this point. After a few seconds, you should see this pop up here asking for permission from the PC. Go ahead and allow that. That's very important. Pay attention to your phone screen when you first plug it in. Go ahead and enable that and allow it. At this point, if you don't see that pop up, go ahead and check and see how the phone is connected, whether it's a MTP connection or charge only, and switch back and forth between those a couple times if you didn't get that pop up. Sometimes that triggers the ADB connection to your PC, at least for myself, that's helped out. So then we're going to go ahead and type ADB devices. This confirms that our phone has been connected to the PC. Type ADB reboot bootloader. 
that's going to boot us into bootloader mode. Takes a couple seconds there. Bam, we're in fast boot mode right now. At this point, we're going to type fast boot OEM unlock and hit enter. Just takes a couple of seconds there. You see it's already finished. It's a very quick process. Our bootloader is now unlocked. So at this point, we're going to want to boot into twerp, into the custom recovery type fast boot, boot, and then the name of the recovery. You see this is big, long, complicated name here. I'm just going to shorten that to twerp, T-W-R-P dot image, fast boot, boot, twerp dot image. Now what's cool about this, this is a temporary recovery. Just takes a couple seconds there, bam, it loads it onto the phone, it's going to boot it up. This is a temporary recovery, so we're not flashing over the stock recovery of the phone. We're just going to boot that custom recovery right here. I'm going to go ahead and pull that over a little bit. Now you can see that the phone pops up now. This twerp is a very good twerp, so it's connecting with the PC already. I'm going to go ahead and open that. Now you could have done this previously while the phone was booted into Android previously. I'm just doing this now. This is a, you can do this several different ways. What we're going to do here is get the Super SU onto the phone. I'm just going to go ahead and drag this Super SU. Drag it into the uh, the base, the root of the phone there. Bam, now it's on the phone. Now at this point, I'm going to slide this over here to start the twerp recovery. There we go. Now at this point, I'm going to go ahead and select install. I'm going to navigate to that Super SU I just put onto the phone there. Go ahead and tap that, select it. And then it's asking, you sure you want to do this? slide bam 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 okay it's now rooting our phone and that's it the phone's rooted pretty easy process right go ahead and reboot the system now So we're now booted back into Android. What I want to do is confirm that the root went through okay. So we're going to go ahead and go to Play Store or whatever app store you use. Search for Root Checker. Once you find that, go ahead and tap it and install whichever one there comes up. It doesn't matter really. They all pretty much do the same thing. I usually just select the one at the top. Once that's installed, go ahead and open it up and go through the welcome screens there. Then tap Verify Root. And up pops the control app. Go ahead and grant that. And that, bam, it verifies that you are properly rooted. I'm also going to show you guys here. This is a Super SU. The control app is Super SU created by Chainfire, this particular one. Go ahead and tap that. And it tells you which apps have been given root access. So now you guys remember that we actually did only a temporary boot of the customer recovery. There may be reasons you want a, a temporary boot. There may also be reasons that you want to permanently flash twerp over. So let's show you how to do that. We're going to go ahead and type ADB devices. And it shows us we're still connected to the PC, no problem. Go ahead and type ADB reboot bootloader. We're now in fast boot mode. Now the way to flash permanently, or at least semi-permanently, is type fastboot flash recovery and then the name of the recovery. In my case it's twerp.image. Bam, it just takes a couple seconds. We've now flashed over the stock recovery. Now the reason I said temporary is because you can still flash your another recovery over that, whether it's stock or twerp or CWM. Go ahead and boot, fastboot, boot, boot twerp.image. The reason I'm doing this is so I can power down. You can also just hold the power button on the side of the phone for 10 seconds. That'll also power you down. I'm going to go ahead and power off. And once that's off, I'm going to show you we're going to boot actually into the recovery, not from the PC. We're going to boot directly into the recovery from power off. You do that with this phone by holding power and volume down. Some phones are power and volume up. Just hold that for a few seconds there. With this phone you'll feel a little vibrate and then after a couple seconds, bam, you can see that we've come into the recovery. So there are other things that we can do with the fast boot such as flash system.image or flashing different parts of the ROM. 
Also with the ADB command set, there's a few different things you can do there. The main thing I use these tools for is installing flashing custom recovery or booting into temporary recovery and then installing root or gapps. Okay guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We have more tutorials and more full reviews of the newest phones coming out. Damien, over and out.